What's up guys, Z boy Jeff, back in another video. And today quickly I just want to talk about the Quest 2. Becoming one of my favorite gadgets. Being completely untethered to anything, no cables, no nothing. It is the best. And it works great, it looks great. But one little aspect about it that I did like is that for your old games, as I had the older Rift, I could play them using a cable. That's the problem. I really wanted to go wireless completely. Now, you could get these cables, like the one they bring, this white cable that it brings, you could use that too, but that's too short. So I ended up getting a 25 foot cable. How long this thing is? It goes 16 feet, big, bulky, but supposedly that's what they recommend. Now, but what if I wanna play my games off my computer without the link cable? Is it possible? Well, I'm going to show you guys real quick with a couple of softwares, one named SideQuest and a few others. And it's going to allow you to not only put games, which are independent games that you can sideload very easily. And it's very simple to do. Very easy. Now, let's get started. Okay, guys, here we are. There's the screen. So we're going to go into the Oculus app. Make sure that your Oculus headset is connected to the same network as your phone both connected to the same network and we go searching aqualess 2 and very promptly we're going to go into settings right this is my account and i'm connected to my aqualess quest 2 so i make sure that i connect to that one so i click on that now see aqualess quest 2 is connected connected to the same wi-fi that's why i saw it and as you see it there we're going to click on it again right and go to more settings right there and in more settings you're going to see something called developer mode which is the one two three fourth down click on that right now it's off so we're going to turn it on boom see now i see it blue we turn it on and that's it that's the step that you got to take on your oculus quest 2 to side load apps take it back and let's go back into the computer after you do that through your phone going into the computer that's what we got now in front of the computer and we're going to start downloading i'm going to leave these downloads on my comments i mean on the description of the links first thing i'm going to do go to this site have it in the description it's called dashboard oculus now you have to become a developer so you want to side push or side load these um games or whatnot you got to open a developer page you know Create a new developer page. You could put here whatever you want. Your name is Sam, you know, Sam Incorporated or Sam Games, whatever you know is available. You put the name that you want. Make sure that you are logged in into your profile on Oculus. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to be attached to your, you know, information. So you pick whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? I could pick, you know, J Games. And it was available. You know what I'm saying? I just hit, oh, I understand. Click next, and you should be done. You submit it, and you should be done. Um, after you do that, go to this website and download, which I leave in the description too. DeveloperOculus.com downloads a package. There's the ADB drivers. Now they say that it made for the Oculus original, but it's worse for the two. It's the same thing. So you install, bam, download. Go to the process. It installs. Come here. I think I got them all. You know my downloads. I got them all here. So right here, the Oculus ADB drivers, the side quest, which is the last thing we're gonna install. So once you install the ADB drivers, go into sidequest.com, sidequestvr.com, which I leave in the description also, and download whatever you're using. Most likely you're gonna use Windows because what I'm teaching you is how to. Not only use SideQuest to, which is a great site, you get a lot of these um, free, you know, indie games and a lot of more stuff. But you also could use it for the virtual desktop, which is the real reason I'm doing this, besides the games. But if you don't even want to do the virtual desktop, you can still use it just to sideload games. There's a bunch of great games, a lot of multiplayer games. So much stuff is available for you to push it into your VR and headset. And it's amazing. It's an amazing site. Okay. So you download SideQuest. And like I said, first put in the drivers. Once you put in the drivers, plug it in. And I'm going to plug in mines now. 
because I already did the whole process. I'm just telling you guys how to do it. So this is basically the Oculus ADB drivers right here. Right click, better, and install. All right, right click, install. Super easy. Now, once that installs, you should have the drivers in your system already. You could um, download the SideQuest app already, have it ready, install it or whatnot. You see it right here. And you could just install it yourself right here. Description also. So here goes the side quest, you know. It's a setup. Anyone in the computer, next, 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 install it like you install anything else. Now once everything is nice and installed, don't open anything. Just uh take our USB cable. This is the one that came with it. You have another one, USB C to USB A, whatever you have, you can use it. Boom. Connected, you're gonna hear a a little sound called. Hey, yo, ding, ding, ding. Heard that sound? It's working. Now, now we're gonna go into side load, which we already installed. It's called SideQuest. And Vavoom is here. Now, go into your unit. Make sure it's connected to the same router, same everything, right? And boom, it saw it. 92%. It picked it up. Now, it picked up mine because I already used it. But if you see that it's not connecting, go into the unit itself and see that it's a pop-up came up and say, allow access to the computer. And you just click, yes, I allow access. So put on your headset, you see the little box that says allow access, click allow, and it will let you in. You're just allowing access to the software. And once it's connected, this is it, guys. It's as easy as this. You could install any game. Now, this is the great thing about it. You know what I'm saying? I got a... Uh, there are so many games, so many things that you could pick up from here, you know. Uh, protect and serve. They got these, a lot of these are free. A lot of these are demos. A lot of these are free. Look at this one. Uh, POV, whatever, whatever. I think I installed this one too. And look how easy it is to install. Install to headset. See the little thing says installing. Wait, wait, wait. Starting app install. Permission set okay. Done. That's it. You just install the app into your headset. It's as easy as that. Look around, check online, see what games they recommend. But there's so much stuff here to install. And look how easy it was. Now, primarily, I did this video for the virtual. This is good enough. To sideload a lot of these apps is good enough. It's great. But I want to play this virtually without any connections. I want to avoid all this. I want to avoid this too. That's the whole purpose. Now, so previously, I told you to install virtual desktop on your Quest. Now, this is when this comes into play because there's another software that you have to call virtual desktop, which is you got to push it into with this unit here, and which is called virtual desktop also. You're gonna see it right here. See it right there. You click on it, and you install this to your unit. Hit install right there. It installed, and that's a patch that will allow Virtual Desktop to connect untethered. Untethered, meaning no USB. It's gonna be super easy. Next step you have to take is download the last thing I wanted you to download, which I didn't tell you before, which is virtual desktop in VR leave in the description it's called VR desktop now this is a streamer app what this is it allows you to stream to your headset wirelessly because usually virtual desktop you have to use it but you have to wire it into your PC this will allow you to access it wirelessly now this app runs on your computer you download it you install it and this is the way it looks when you install it this is going to open up and boom. So you need install it, reboot your computer, just make sure it's playing good, and open up Quest, open this up, leave it open, and then once everything is nice and connected, and you open Quest and you see it that it's connected to the computer and all that, you know, say so very nice. Disconnect your Quest. Ba boom. Now, it may disappear from there. 
no matter because now when you open your app here that's what you're gonna do so here I am in front of my unit here and first thing we do is we're gonna go into our apps and we're gonna click on virtual desktop to see that it's working and there goes our virtual desktop right there with this streaming plugin that we put in we're going to get this this you know part of it right now j my pc is updating the streamer this may take a few minutes and there it goes you see it perfectly what i was looking at right now see that side quest the whole nine so it's looking beautiful that's the virtual desktop streamer right there and here we go so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on this right here this button right here on the left hand side see that of the controller so it's the left controller and we're gonna click it right here see this button right here that's the button we're gonna click because when we click this button it comes pops back up you know what I'm saying the virtual desktop plugin pops up and you can select the game now if you want you know or whatnot so check the settings so according to what you're getting on your router bandwidth on your router you could go higher on the frames per second do 90 72 so you guys test it out and see first start the medium you think it's too slow go down to low you think you could go higher go high to high the closer you are to your router and if you have one of those two band routers use it take one band dedicated to use to this you know setup right now and the other band you could use it for the other computer so you can have a nice clear band and you could play your games wirelessly and access your computer wirelessly but the most important is pick your games that only work on your old riff that are based not for the quest like arizona sunshine right here and you could play it in your living room right now i got this computer down here in my first floor i'm gonna go upstairs to my living room and i'm gonna play this game right now so let's see how it works out before i go one thing that i want to show you guys that when you right click for your console i hope you guys already know how to do that let's just uh quit this real quick we don't need to have it let's go back to our regular now you see where i downloaded those you, you when you push in those side quest games you side load them how you access them the way you access them, so you go to your apps, like right here, see that? Go to your apps, off, on, install, right here, click on install, and go all the way up down to where it says unknown sources. And these are the games, you know what I'm saying, that you have installed. Hyperdash is awesome. You guys got to check Hyperdash. That one is a multiplayer game. It's awesome. I like that one a lot. So this is where you put your games. That's it. So now, you know what? Let's take this big boy upstairs, and I'm going to test out the game from another floor. There's the PC down here. I'm going to go to another floor closer to my router, and I'm going to play this game. Let's check it out. Anyway, guys, so here we are upstairs. And as you can see, I'm seeing all my apps here. So this is the one we installed, Virtual Desktop. So I'm in the second floor. You saw my PC downstairs. So let's go into Virtual Desktop. So this is we're going to go into the games right away. So we have to pick the games from here. So don't pick the games from the regular PC. So right now, I'm in the virtual desktop looking at my games. So we're going to play Arizona Sunshine. And that's it. Let's see, everything is no delays. Everything is beautiful. I'll push the button. That's going to take me into the game. Like I said, wireless people will be completely wireless so you guys can see the game here grab the gun grab the gun here and insert a certain different set campaign see the campaign comes down and hit campaign here and i'm playing single player and i'm going to continue the game already like uh further in the game and this is for you guys to see, 100% wireless, bam, bam, no wires, and I'm connected to my PC downstairs, not even on the same floor, but it's hardwired, and I'm connected to my router, which is up here, it's a wireless router, but the clearer your, your router is, the less people there are, 
the easier it'll be for you to get this done. Now look at this boy. Nice and close. <laughs> I love the good. This is Arizona sunshine. You can see how fast and beautiful it moves. There we go. Let me load up the gun. Let's go further here. Now this is a great game. There we go. Now, we look around, when you want it, go back. Let's go back to this card here. Because a lot of times what happens is that up oh, is on the other side. So we can go to the other side, this this ammo on the other side. So it gives you the option to come over here. And there's a little car, let's go right over right here. Let's get right in front of that car, right there. And let's check inside, let's get a little closer. There we go. Man. Man, what up, baby? So, all right, let's get back out. And get back over here. Let's go hunting. So, look down, got 48 bullets. Look at all these cars. <sighs> So this is a great game. It's cool. Well, let's make another bastards. attention guys <laughs> there there you have it now let's start over myself all over again I'm all over the place but there it is we back in again so that's it guys it's as easy as that 100% wireless on a busy router can't beat this cannot beat this this is like this is awesome this is the best we'll play a little more See ya. <laughs>